Good evening, dear viewers, and welcome to RT, this English news edition, the top stories. The head of state presided over this morning the ceremony of World Book Day. In all the international news, the crash of a Russian war plane off Syria, the two pilots were killed. Thank you for joining us in our newsroom. The Republic of Djibouti has, like the rest of the world, celebrated today the Book and Copyright International Day. This commemoration took place at the People's Palace under the ashes of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Smal Mergele. The ceremony served mainly as a platform in a forum for debating several substantive topics, including the link between intellectual uh, creativity and sustainable development. The President of the Republic, who spoke at the forum of this event, mentioned many advantages that the promotion of culture brings to the socio-economic development of the two countries. Of the countries, they contribute to the realization of a more competent society and more in line with the ability to meet the challenges related to its well-being and its development. He continued to place a good-natured atmosphere. The Djibouti celebration of World Book and Copyright Day featured an important musical component, the various artistic groups uh, and animated with songs and dances specifically for the occasion. A large number of officials, including the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, the President of the SMT, Mohammed Ali Mohammed, members of the government and the Parliament of Djibouti took part in this ceremony. This event has also seen the participation of the First Lady and President of the National Union of Women of Djibouti, Mrs. Khadra Mohammed Haid.
this exceptional day celebrating the World Book Festival and the promotion of copyright in the band of, of the mute we have not only present original version of the national anthem with a beautiful gestural performance accompanied by a, a national anthem to the suite of a bewitching rhythm but this is the highlight of this world day <laughs> by paying a vibrant tribute not only to the head of state who deserved this gift in more ways than one but also showed his warm sympathy to the uh, in hearing impairment in persons who despite their disability provide efforts uh, with their state. On the occasion of the World Book Day, the people's palace, the public informed, have uh, appreciated within a first instance the different bands on the scene with beautiful artistic benefits with the menu sh and of songs, dances and music with particular predominance of the folkloric. Yeah, hi, Anu Fanana. Well, Garani, I'm not Fanana, I'm Hai. Asafa, Fanny Dadle. Aye, Usbabu, Bishanu Usbabu. Bu Usuba Tos Hart. Adara, Gada. On this World Book in the different rights day, the uh, copyrights day, the different stakeholders have in the Tupin among the intellectuals of writers and experts in the field of the national arts in archives of, uh, without delay some of them. In his speech on the occasion of the World Book Day, the Minister for Culture has insisted on the efforts concerted by his ministry for promoting uh, the valuation and uh, edition and distribution of books and artistic works in general. He underlined that this uh, day is an opportunity to highlight the, the power of the books uh, to uh, promote our vision of inclusive, uh, equitable, inclusive and uh, participatory knowledge societies for all citizens. For this occasion of the World Book Day, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Smaru Mergele, has delivered a speech saying that the book and all other forms of shared intellectual production expand the range of experiences and knowledge available in the society. Let's listen to him. In his speech, the President of the Republic on the World Books and Copyright Celebration Day has recalled the effort without measure provided by the Ministry of Culture, which he said too has promoted book reading and writing. The President of the Republic then highlighted the role of this day to the writers and artists in general who enrich the youth who will be able, he added, to master through writing their learning about culture, arts, and many other social and historical fields. The, the head of state has urged everyone to express their gratitude to the writers and artists in general by buying their work, which he stressed took a lot of their time and energy, not to mention the funding provided for their work to see the light and be edited. The President of the Republic spoke also on the danger of new technologies and the negative side which according to the Head of State depressed the spirit by decreasing their level of writing, especially through text messages which reduce and sometimes destroy the effort of research and, and the spirit. In the aftermath, he urged the public to buy and encourage and help the writers to go forward by self-financing. He then urged to buy without even reading it, but to subsequently giving the opportunity to the others by leaving that at home 
this will be beneficial for the author but also for the enrichment of others in terms of knowledge the art in general among others visual art the theater songs music painting and of course writing are beneficial for the well-being the identity the development and the cultural valorization of a nation he said he took as an example the case of the artist Abebe who through his poem recited on the platform has demonstrated his creative capacity in oral poetry conveying much knowledge especially in the religious science field also he warmly congratulated in public the artist and the writer and let's listen once again to the head of state the Baganka Yudinta Usuri the head of state has recalled that religion and culture are compatible and in full communion and added that culture and religion are completely linked in the aftermath he did not fail to recall the effort made by the Ministry of Culture to fulfill its duty with regard to copyright and the protection of work and thoughts of all kind. He urged the consumer of music and other artistic production produced singers, composers and lyricists to pay royalties. The head of state has argued that the state and its government should promote the productions of artistic work. Then the president mentioned the case of the National Library that should be built and strengthened regularly in all sectors, including archives that will allow future generations to exploit work and produce well-stocked and conserved with a scientific methodology. In his closing remarks, he warmly pray to honor and respect the writers and the artists at first who will have to stress themselves to respect themselves in return. In other news of this edition, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed proceeded on Thursday, May 3, to the awarding with medals of distinction to two senior officers of the Italian Carpini Race. Uh, these are Brigadier General Antonio Canes and Colonel Marco Aguero, raised by the Prime Minister to the rank of Officer of the National Order of 27 June. The Minister of the Interior, Hassan Umar, was on the side of the uh, Prime Minister at this ceremony, which took place in the Hall of Honor of the Premature. Italian officers arrived yesterday in Djibouti from Mogadishu and accompanied by Somali generals Abdullahi Ahmed and Saeed Ahmed Gedeye to, inqu to inquire about the state of progress of the training of Somali police officers training provided by, the, by Italy at the Negat Police Academy where they were greeted by the Director General of the National Police Colonel Abdullahi Abdi Farah. Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, and his colleague in charge of social affairs, Ms. Muna Osman Aden, have conducted this morning a tour of supervision of, uh, of operations of a distribution of school uniforms in the school of Balbala 2 and Ahiba. Senior executives and MENFA officials also took part in the tour. Uh, these distribution operations of nearly 3,600 school uniforms in more than five pilot schools are part of a commitment of the MENFA, which now wants to institutionalize the wearing of school uniforms in all the schools in the country. The first batches of school uniforms will benefit several thousand of first grade and children in Bilbala 2, Pekit 14, and as well as in Nasib City and Arheba schools. Then the wearing of uniforms will be generalized from the beginning of the next school year to all the students from the first grade to fifth grade in all public schools. The Secretary of State for Social Affairs, Mrs. Muna Osman Aden, has in her intervention raised awareness among parents of students to fully engage in this project of highest importance. She also reaffirmed her willingness to cooperate with the MENFAB on this issue. As for the Minister of National Education, Vocational Training, Mr. 
Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, the school uniforms, he said, will help to ensure equity among the students from all walks of life and eliminate social influence. Uh, the uh, MENFOB now wants to ensure, he said, that standards of hygiene and cleanliness of clothing and as are uh, guaranteed among all the students. So for this, the parents of, of students must accompany the ministry in this project, which responds to recommendation of the civil society during general states of education 2000. And this recommendation was reiterated during consultations on the improvement of the quality of teachings in December 2016. The final championship of the Army Forces volleyball team uh, took place this morning in the artillery battalion in Bulaos. The event was attended by the Chief of General Staff of the Army Forces, Lieutenant General Zakiria Shah Ibrahim, who indicates his interest in the Army Forces sports program. He was received upon arrival at the site of the ceremony by the Assistant Chief of Staff Defense and the head of the artillery battalion, Colonel Mohammed Hirsi, then the Chief of the General Staff of the Army Forces, General Zakiria Shah Ibrahim review with the various units of the armed forces. The event was also attended by Chief of General Staff General Osman Nur Sabagli and various officers of two teams who reached the final match. Before the whistle, the head of the Sports Affairs Office of the Army Forces, Captain Ahmed Umar, presented the two teams to Lieutenant General Zakiri Shah Ibrahim, pointed out that the organization of a sports competition between the various battalions is being conducted successively to promote the spirit of uh, competitions uh, for the elements of the Army Forces. Uh, in sports, uh, the office also organizes uh, football and rugby uh, tournaments every year. In the final of the volleyball match this morning, the Air Force team uh, met with the Rapid Intervention Forces based in Arta. After a fierce competition, the Rapid Intervention Forces won the championship in three groups, the second consecutive year of the title. The head of the Office of Sports Affairs of the Army Forces, Commander Ahmed Umar, said that these sports activities held between the various battalions of the Army Forces are uh, conducted every year in various sports uh, games such as football, handball and volleyball. Ahmed Umar, commander of the General Staff of the Army Forces, thanked General Zakiria Shah Ibrahim for his interest in promoting support and the spirit of competition among the army forces and his unlimited support for all battalions of the various forces. In the framework of a strengthening education for children with special needs, a certificate ceremony for IT trainers was organized this morning in Wasdika Primary School. And this workshop was chaired by the Acting Secretary General Amin Ahmed Warsama. This workshop was attended by the Chairman of the National Network of People with Disabilities and also Director of the Center, Idris Moumin Abdi, as well as international experts, ICT engineer Ihab Semih Hussein and Dr. Zaid, uh, and Director of the Ambition Center for Training in Common communication development. The overall objective pursued through this training is to reinforce the teaching of children with special needs in the national education and also improve uh, in the future the educational uh, management through a better diagnosis of the capacities learning to educate these children who are often discriminated against because of their disability. The Khir region now conducted under the direction of the uh, Director of Health Region, Mr. Ahmed Saeed. A large convoy of medical surgical caravan composed of 30 medical specialists and health technicians left Wednesday morning the Ministry of Health in direction of the capital of Dikhil. The mission of this medical surgical caravan will extend until May 7, 2018 to provide the population with care and specialized services. 
For this new edition, the medical surgical caravan will start its activities in this region of the south and more precisely in Senkal in Asela with the simultaneously sending of two teams in these two localities. On their arrival in the capital, Caravaneers of health were greeted warmly by the deputy prefect of the region of the Khid, Mr. Yusuf Ali, at the turn of a visit courtesy. The regional leader met with the executives of this mission to discuss community participation. Note that the convoy of the caravan also carried necessary equipment and supply of drugs to cover the needs of this medical mission. And on the international news, advanced Russian warplane crashed in Syria, killing two crew members. Uh, Hinda Ibrahim has more to tell us. Killing the Russian meteorologist of a fighter plane crashed in Syria on Tuesday, morning shortly after takeoff, killing 40 members of its crew. The Russian military was cited as a saying by a Russian news agency. The two seater Sequoid Terry is immediately crashed after taking off from Russia's Yemen airbase in Latakia province. Agency cited the Minister of Defense in Moscow as saying its two crew members had tried in vain to save the plane until the latest moment. According to the preliminary information, the reason for the aviation disaster could have been a Paris getting into the engine. The Rio News Agency stated the ministry as saying the plane was not struck by any projectile. In Syria it was used to launch air two ground missiles at a repair target and to score attack jets and strategic bombers. Spain no impunity for ETA crimes. More in this video. Spanish San Mariano Rachel said Tuesday that there will be no room for impunity for it is a crime even though the pesky separatist group has said it will fully disband. It uh, can announce its disappearance but it is crime do not disappear nor do the efforts to pursue and punish them Rachel say in a televised speech in the north term city of uh, Lancro no, it has completely dissolved all its structure and ended its political initiative. Say a letter dated April 16 and published by the Spanish online newspaper El Diario on Wednesday. The letter sent to Pesca Regional Institution also noted its dissolution doesn't overcame the conflict that Pesca country maintained with Spain and with France. And that's all for this edition. Thank you for joining us on RTD channel. Have a good night.